Welcome to Success Series. Today we are going to look at International Financial Reporting Standard 15, IFRS 15, Revenue from Contract with Customers. Revenue from Contract with Customers. If today is your first time here, kindly hit on the subscribe button in order to be notified with our new videos. Moving on. In today's video, we are going to look at the five steps to recognize revenue the five steps to recognize revenue in order to make it simpler to remember all these five steps you can use the mnemonic cedar the mnemonic cedar where c stands for contract with customer identification i stands for identify the performance obligation d stands for determine the transaction price a stands for allocate the transaction price to the performance obligation in the contract. And finally, R, which stands for recognize revenue when or as the entity satisfies a performance obligation. Now, let's take each step into more perspective. Now, step one, which is the contract with customer identification you must understand what is a contract now a contract here is an agreement between two parties that creates enforceable rights and obligation and for us to identify a contract there is a need for us to meet the criteria for a contract now what are these criteria for a contract one the contract has commercial substance Two, parties to the contract have approved it and are committed to perform. Three, each party's right to the goods or services transferred are identified. Four, payment terms are identified. Five, it is probable that an entity will collect the consideration. Now let's move on to step two. Step two is identify the performance obligation obligations in the contract. Now, what is performance obligation over here? Say performance obligation is any good or service that contract promises to transfer to the customer. It's any good or services that contract promises to transfer to the customer. And here it can either be the performance obligation can either be a single good or service or their bundle that is distinct or a series of distinct goods or services that are substantially the same and have the same pattern of transfer now the third step is determine the transaction price what is transaction price here you see transaction price in short is just the amount of consideration stipulated in the contract now in IFRS 15 defines transaction price as the amount of consideration to which an entity expects to be entitled in exchange for transferring promised goods or services to a customer excluding amount collected on behalf of third parties Transaction price is the amount of consideration to which an entity expects to be entitled in exchange for transferring promised goods or services to a customer, excluding amounts collected on behalf of third parties. Now, how do we determine the transaction price? Firstly, use the price stated in the contract as some basis. And then secondly, Take the following into account. First, variable consideration, significant financing component, non-cash consideration, and then finally consideration payable to a customer. Now let's move on to step four. Step four is allocate the transaction price to the performance obligation or obligations in the contract. Now, over here, we use a general rule in the allocation. Now, what's the general rule? The general rule is allocating the transaction price to the performance to the individual 
performance obligation on their relative standalone selling price. So here the allocation is done to the individual performance obligation on their relative standalone selling price. Now the exemption to this general rule is in the case whereby we are allocating a discount or when we are allocating consideration with variable amount. Now the final step which is step 5 which is recognize revenue when or as the entity satisfies a performance obligation. Now here an entity will satisfy a performance obligation when a, a performance obligation is satisfied is satisfied when the promised good or services is transferred to a customer. So here a performance obligation here is satisfied when a promised good or service is transferred to a customer. When this transfer to the customer is made, then here we say that control is what's passed. So when this happens, control is passed. Now a performance obligation can also be satisfied either over time, that's over a period of time, and then at the point of time, which can be at the transaction date. Thank you.